So, let's head to Dracula's Castle. The final area of the game. Let's do this. Well, the interesting thing about this place is it actually has multiple areas. This is Nightmare Gate. You, you know, if you couldn't read. This is pretty cool. How, how they kind of make that little, little effect. I like it. Here I am. It's all gone. What little I had, anyway. No, that's not true. There's one thing left. My mission. I'm the only one left who can end this. Hear me, Dracula. I am the morning sun. Come to vanquish this horrible night. Love that line. Okay, so yeah, Dracula's has, it has, has, it has multiple areas. You know, kind of like a... This is a nightmare gate. Kind of like Symphony of the Night and all that stuff where there's... There's there's different areas of this one place, so it, it's kind of cool how that's set up. This is the first area. Of course, we got blood skeletons and peeping eyes. Classic enemies. Peeping eye. Ooh, we have over 70% over of the enemies. One of the castle's watchmen. It has a drop that's really rare, but... Luckily, we, we don't really need to get it, so I'm not too worried about it. We got a gargoyle. Who lets just fly high, obviously. That's kind of annoying, but you don't really see them too often. At least not in this area. Gargoyle. A demon turned to stone attacks in groups. Even though, the, even though this one's alone, but okay. Way to contradict yourself, Konami. Alright, and the blood skeleton, which of course you can't kill, as always. The blood they absorb regenerates all wounds. They don't drop anything, and they give no experience, so whatever. Whatever you gotta do, man. Yeah, some of these rooms are, like, very strangely shaped. And here we have the, uh... A Black Panther, which which we're gonna need to farm, so that's gonna be annoying. But yeah, a black female panther. It's the it, it drops a glyph four star, so that's probably gonna take a while. So I'll have to do that unless I get really lucky and it drops pretty quickly, but I doubt it. It typically takes a while, usually. Maybe I'll get lucky, but you never know. Yeah, so there's two of them in this room, and there's a save point in, in the bottom right corner, so that's the best place to farm for it. First, let's get this. Hot mox up. <laughs> okay. So we got a save point here. So I'm gonna farm on the, on these two uh, black pants. Unfortunately, yeah, there's flea members we have to deal with at the same time. There's not much you can do about that. But yeah, maybe I'll get some of them to maybe I'll get some of them to drop some rice balls. Though. That'd be kind of nice, but they seem to be pretty rare. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. But you never know, man. You never know. Pick up some money along the way. I mean. Why not? Okay, Arma Felix grants cat-like abilities. So that didn't take too long, but it did take a little while. So yeah, you can turn to a little cat and... Well, that's weird. You kind of jump around, do some... Claw attacks and such. I guess it's cool. I don't really use it, but, you know, there it is. It exists. So... If you want to use it, go right ahead. But save, so we don't have to do that again. Because that did take a little while. I gained two levels, I believe. And I, and I got one rice ball to drop, so that was fun. But, yeah. Okay. Let's move right along, shall we? Yeah, this glyph works a lot better than the two little ball things. <gasps> Just so you know, and I got the hiccups. Because I had some surge, so, you know, hiccups and such. Alright, so this place isn't really too bad. The boss? There's a boss that's gonna be coming up. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't go through that until we beat the boss, actually. Um, the boss is, uh... At the same time, it's the easiest and most annoying boss in the game. And, uh, you'll see why there's tasty meat hidden there. You, you, you'll see more about the boss when we get there. It's, it's interesting, to say the least. Because basically, in order to beat the boss, you don't even have to damage him. All you have to do is, is absorb his glyph. And I've heard that you, you can actually absorb the glyph, like, before the fight even starts, and, like, he dies, like, automatically. There's a hidden chest there, by the way, with white drops. But yeah, I, I've never been able to do that. I'm not sure how you do that exactly. I, I've heard you just, as soon as you walk in the boss room, you just absorb it, but I'm, I've never been able to do it, so... I don't know. I've, I'll try, but I've never been able to do it, so I don't know how that works. And Did it drop another... Wow... That is ridiculous. Come on. So here we have a new enemy, the ghoul. Just like the zombies, not a big deal, except they're, you know, red and such. Apparently they spent too much time in the tanning booth. Spirit with a steady diet of dot dead rotting flesh. Okay. They dropped something, but it's probably not really worth much. Black Panther! So yeah, they, they only give six experience each because, you know, they infinitely respawn, and when that's the case, you know they gotta... They, they can't make them give too much experience, otherwise that'd be pretty bro pretty, pretty broken. Yes. So, oh, jeez, Mr. Peeping Eye. What's the matter with you, man? Get the hell out of here. I don't like you. But luckily, we don't have to farm on you in this game. Because most games you do, and it's always really annoying. So that's good. Yeah, I believe the these ghouls just drop like a uh, like like a rotten food or something. I, I forget exactly. So it's not really it's 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 nothing that we need, <laughs> but. You know, it wouldn't mind if they dropped one, so that we could just say we got it. But, yeah. Okay, moving on to the next area. Bloody Tomes. But it's pretty interesting, it's just books everywhere. And as you walk, you see papers flying up, I really like that effect. It's pretty cool. I like that. So, so, yeah, there's going to be books everywhere. So that's pretty cool. They never really did that in a Castlevania before, I don't think. So that's, that's cool. I like it. So it looks like we're in a library or a study of some kind. Hey, there's a spoiled milk. Yeah, it's spoiled milk. I don't think we'll be... I don't know if there's anything you need that for particularly, but we have it. So, where is it? I don't know. I don't see it. Spoiled milk. It's milk you can chew! <laughs> nice. Here's a new enemy. Draculina. <laughs> She's really not very hard or anything, but... Yeah. Draculina! This female vampire feasts on the blood of intruders. Has two... Rare drops, it would seem. I don't think we really need either of them, but maybe there's something good. I don't know. But let's just climb all these books, shall we? HP max up. And more Black Panthers. You know the deal. Apparently the Black Panthers are lycanthropes, it would seem. Alright. Another Draculina. Wouldn't mind if you dropped one of your items, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, it's it's a Tin Man from from a long time ago when it, when it, when it was like a really like powerful enemy. It's still pretty powerful, but now it's a regular enemy. So so yeah, 
Is this the same one we fought? Well, like, like towards the beginning? Yeah, I believe it is. So, there it is. Now it's like a regular enemy, I guess. Even though there's just one, but still. And white Fomars are back for whatever reason. We already got your glyph, so we don't really need to worry about that. Alrighty then. Oh, watch it, man. So, the boss is up here. And there's a warp point over there, and... There... And of course, there's a save point in the bottom right, but I figured we'd just clear out this room. There's a chest there with an M who max up. But, uh, yeah, there's the boss door. So we'll go ahead and save first, obviously. I'm gonna try this, uh... I'm gonna try to do this whole thing where you actually absorb the glyph, like, really before the fight starts. I I've never been able to figure out how to do it. I don't know, uh... Not sure how exactly you do it. Like I said, I, I've heard that you just start absorbing, like, as, as soon as you, you walk into the room, but I don't know, I, I've never really been able to figure out. Are you seriously dropping that again? Oh, man. That is just frustrating. Like, really? I'm just getting it randomly. When originally it took me, like, I don't know, probably, like, a, a good six or seven minutes. I don't even know. But l let's try this, okay. Yeah, see, that that didn't do anything. Yeah, so this is Wallman. Basically, in, in, he throws these bombs around. Kind of like Bomberman. And you have to absorb the glyph, but... The only way to absorb it is to, uh... Um, you know... Not get hit by the bomb, so, so, you, so you gotta find a... A, a formation t to where you can absorb without getting hit. So you basically gotta wait for that. And, and um, if if he hits you enough times, or if you hit him enough times, he'll just use a a super potion to refill his HP. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. Can we uh? Yeah, see, that doesn't work. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to do that. No, that's not going to work. Next one up. That'll work, but unfortunately, I got hit, so... You know. I'm going to redo that. Okay. Let's do this a proper... Yeah, see, I don't know how you do that. I don't know, man. Next one up. Like I said, it, this is really easy not to get hit. <laughs> there you go. Parries pass through solid walls in specific locations. And he's dead. Wallman metal. Okay. And yeah, with with his ability, you can walk through the walls. Well, some of them. Wallman! Walls are no obstacle for this bizarre being. He has 9999 HP. 3500 experience. Yeah, so, uh... Let's check out the medal. Medal awarded for defeating the mysterious being Wallman. Yeah, so absorbing his glyph is the only way to win, because otherwise, if, if he gets anywhere near death, he'll just refill his HP with the super potion, so... Yeah. And we get another glyph here. Medio Comforter, a superior rapier glyph. A more powerful rapier. Though it's still not as powerful as the lance, but it's faster, so... Mm, I like the lance, but I might try this for a bit. Because it is faster. So let's go back and save. Before we move on. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. The lance is is a little bit more powerful, but but this is a lot faster. So I guess we'll leave this on for now.
Hopefully we'll get an upgraded lance soon. Because that's definitely one of my more favorite weapons because of the range. 